Hello friends. Welcome back to the discussion on this series impedance with ammeter. In the previous lectures we discussed the measurement of high DC voltage. In measurement of high AC voltage there are five different methods of the measurement of high voltage. Whenever we need to do the measurement of high voltage that voltage is to be reduced to the value so that the meter maybe a voltmeter or ammeter can do the measurement a uh, high value voltmeters and ammeters are difficult to develop or manufacture or we can say that there is a need to have high shunt resistance or series resistance for the measurement of voltage and current so therefore what we do we generally reduce the value of the voltage so that a voltmeter or an ammeter can do that measurement so first in this high ac voltage measurement we'll be discussing four different methods four different methods that is four different circuit diagrams in first case in first method the first method is referred as series impedance with ammeter so it means we have four different circuits for the uh, discussion on this series impedance with ammeter now impedance impedance means which consist of a resistance and a reactance in this circuit a resistor inductor are connected in series and this series combination is connected in parallel with the capacitor where resistance is referred as high ohmic resistor l and c be the residual inductance and capacitance respectively so we can say that this z z that is impedance is the combination of r and xl as it is connected in series so therefore we have r plus j xl and connected in capacitor connected with capacitor therefore parallel with minus j xc so this gives us the measurement of ac high voltage at normal frequency called power frequency of 50 hertz that may be a pure resistance or may be a pure reactance if the pure resistance is used in the network then there are certain limitations the limitations are represented as first the resistances involves the power loss which is given by the equation p is equal to i square r so whenever we have only a resistance connected we get the power loss as i square r second point is the resistance varies with respect to the temperature so increase in resistance increases the value of the temperature so if the pure resistance is used that offers the rising temperature and again that is the problem then there is another problem called as a residual inductance and a stray capacitance these two parameter influences the current which is passing through the unit so this residual inductance gives rise to an impedance that is different from its ohmic resistance and this high resistance units for high voltages have these three capacitances so this residual inductance and residual capacitance is shown in the circuit so this is another problem which occurs and the effect of that as the indication of meter results in an air we cannot get we will not get the proper reading for the same hence there is a use of capacitor instead of using only resistance for the measurement purpose there is a use of capacitor now in this case before discussing our next circuit we have the value of the impedance now what this impedance is it is due to the residual inductance and capacitance so therefore we get r plus j xl which is in parallel with j xc now if i say this 
R plus J XL is omega L and it is in parallel with 1 upon minus 1 upon J omega C. So if I solve this particular equation, the final equation to impedance gives me the result as Z is equal to R plus J omega L divided by 1 minus omega square L C plus J omega C into R. This is what the equation for the impedance I gave when I do have a resistance connected in the network with the residual inductor and capacitor. So therefore, we can use another circuitry for the measurement of current. So as the topic suggests, it's a series impedance voltmeter, but ammeter is connected. That ammeter measures the value of the current, which is in terms of the voltage which is applied and which is to be measured. So this network is without any inductance, but this network or speaker is shown with the stray capacitance with the ground and the winding capacitance. A high value of resistance are again connected in series with the micro ammeter, which measures the value of the current. In another figure, in another figure, there is a guard ring and tuning resistance. So guard ring that is RS guard ring that is RS is connected and a tuning resistance RA is connected in the network. The purpose of these resistances is to allow current only and only through the resistance, high value of resistance series resistor, which is connected with the ammeter. And this ammeter should get the value of the current, which is to be measured. It should not get diverted towards the series regi uh, guard register and tuning register. The purpose of that is to stray, that is to reduce the effect of that stray ground capacitance. And that shunts the actual register, but doesn't contribute to the current through the instrument. So it acts as a protector, it acts as a guard, but doesn't contribute to the flow of the current. By tuning the resistor RA, the shielding resistor and potentials may be adjusted with respect to the actual measuring resistor. So that the resulting compensation currents between shield and the measuring resistors provide the minimum phase angle. So this is what the circuitry which is used for the measurement of current. So the problem which we have seen in first for the impedance voltmeter or impedance ammeter connection of residual inductor and capacitor can be reduced partially. So by using this figure two and figure three, we can have the effect. Now, instead of having this, if we connect only and only capacitor, then we can get the measurement of current. So this is the topic called series capacitance with ammeter. So instead of having pure resistor, now the capacitor is placed in series with the ammeter. This ammeter measures the RMS value of the current, but it is also protected by the protective device so that there won't be any effect of the current on the meter. The C which is connected here is a series of capacitance. So to avoid the drawbacks which are pointed earlier, a series capacitor is used instead of a resistor for the measurement of high AC voltage. This particular method is recommended when AC voltages are pure sinusoidal waves. So whenever the voltage is a pure sinusoidal, it means of this kind, pure sinusoidal, without any harmonics presence without any harmonics present in the waveform, then that AC voltage can be measured 
with the help of this particular circuit. Series capacitance voltmeter were used with cascade transformers for measuring RMS values up to 1000 kilovolt. So this much of voltage can be measured with the help of series capacitance voltmeter. The series capacitance was formed as a parallel plate capacitor between the high voltage terminal of the transformer and a ground plate suspended above it. A rectifier ammeter was used as an indicating instrument and directly calibrated in high voltage RMS value. As it is calibrated to high voltage RMS value, therefore it does the measurement of RMS current. The meter was usually generally a 0 to 100 microammeter, microampere moving coil meter. In this case, this particular current IC, which is going to be measured by the meter is given by the equation J omega C into V. As I said, C is the capacitance of the series capacitor. Omega is the angular frequency and this V be the applied voltage on this side, which is to be measured with the help of circuit. So that's all with this particular method of AC high voltage measurement. We will see our next topic that is potential divider in next lecture. Hope you understood this concept of measurement of AC high voltage with series impedance that may be a pure resistor or pure reactance that is capacitance. But whatever the drawbacks which I have mentioned in the measurement through pure resistance that are avoided with the help of a pure capacitance with ammeter measurement. So thank you so much guys.